Hello friends, welcome to another session on Gems of Geometry. So, uh, we are going to discuss another very interesting theorem here. The theorem says, uh, let triangles be constructed externally on the sides of an arbitrary, arbitrary triangle, so that the sum of the remote angles is 180 degrees, then the circumcircles of the three triangle meet at a point. So, so let me explain this theorem to you. So, what is this saying? It's saying that uh, let us draw a arbitrary triangle first of all okay and then you construct external triangles like that like that on the three sides on the three sides but the condition is that the remote remote uh, angles what is the remote angle i'll illustrate so let's say this is three triangles you are creating so this this three angles alpha beta and gamma these are called remote angles what are they called remote angles let's say so that's what is meaning of a remote angle in this case it's not a standard um what do you say in standard um or conventional way of you know identifying these angles the remote angles but just in this case remote meaning uh, farthest away from the sides of the triangle right given triangle so alpha beta gamma if alpha plus beta plus gamma is given as 180 degrees this is given alpha plus beta plus gamma is 180 degrees then they are saying that if you draw the circumcircle of these three triangles okay so they are going to meet at a point so i'm just drawing a rough diagram anyways the challenge is to construct this now so they are saying they will meet at they are, they are going to meet at one, one particular point that is what we have to establish so understood so again there is a triangle abc this black one and then alpha beta gamma are the remote angles drawn or these are the triangles basically on the sides drawn externally and alpha beta gamma are the remote angles such that alpha plus beta plus gamma is 180 degrees then the three circumcircles of the three triangles which are drawn like these will meet at one point that's what we are going to see first of all the challenge is to construct this con construct this particular thing because uh, alpha plus beta plus gamma to be 180 degree is the challenge in construction so what do we do so what i'm going to do is first i'll uh, take a random triangle so let me take a random triangle so here is my point a let us say this is point b and let us say point c okay and let let us make let me make this a bit more arbitrary so how to make it more arbitrary so here, just change this orientation yeah somewhat like that okay and let me zoom in okay now what i'm going to do is uh the two triangles the other two triangles on ac and ab we can make make those triangles very easily without having much of a constraint okay so let us say this is um this is one so one triangle i draw right let me just change the color so that becomes a little um which color should i take let's say this one no yeah let's say this is the one triangle and then the second triangle i'll draw how do i draw so a and let's say this point i take c and yeah and let me change this color as well so if i change the color for this one let's say this one or this one yeah okay now um now i have to draw the third one now here is the constraint so i know uh, this angle um this is b d a some some measure it will be similarly i can measure this angle but i have to make sure that the third triangle which i'm going to make is going to be 180 degrees so let me keep it here so that i'll tell you why i'm doing this so that i can make it easily okay so now these are the remote angles e and d so far so let's measure these first so let me measure b d a so 53.97 i don't want these so this is but alpha okay and uh, this one a e c okay so this is 70.02 and this is beta I don't need this names okay alpha and beta so what i'm going to do is i am going to construct a 
180 degree angle here. So I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to construct a line passing through E, which is which is at an angle alpha. So this one is at alpha. Let me show the label. So let me not show the value or let it be value also. No problem. So let the value be also there. And let me show this um, or rather I don't need it right now. So I'm going to construct a line passing through E such that uh, AE and that line have an, has an angle 53.97. How I'm going to do it is this. So I am going to um, reflect or rotate about a point. So let's say about E, I'm going to rotate this line AE. By what angle? So by which angle? So by in clockwise direction? Yes, clockwise direction. By what angle? So the angle is alpha. Isn't it? Okay, here it is. Right. So if you if you see this angle is going to be 53 point. Yep. So let me show it here. So how much is this angle? Let me measure this angle. So this angle is um, a dash e dash 53.97 exactly same angle I have drawn that is gamma okay why did I do that now so let me switch it off now if I have a line let's say a dash e dash like that if I see this line now this angle here this one which one um angle between let me measure that as well so let me measure this and yeah 56 point this delta this delta let me yeah so this angle is delta here or oh, let me show it yeah delta is 56.01 okay now i'm going to uh find a point on uh you know a line passing through b and parallel to this line if i draw then i will get a point where um where okay so what i'm going to do is i i need a no not passing through b i need a um yes i need a line parallel here why because see if i draw these parallel lines which one so let's say parallel line through c okay fair enough now um, yes so this angle is so if i somehow point find out of okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do this so i'm going to draw a line parallel to b yeah this is but will that help no mm. uh, this angle is alpha and i need a point here somewhere such that okay see if i get a point here oh no what i'm going to do yes 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 i'm sorry so what otherwise i could have done i don't don't need to do all of this see what i need to do is once i get this 56.01 that is delta i need to extend not this line so this line is not needed i need to actually extend this line which one e dash c yeah perfect now if i draw a line passing through b and parallel to this line then this given angle will be same so what i'm going to see is so say is this so let me draw a line passing through b and parallel to this line yeah perfect now this angle clearly this one is my desired delta right so if i measure let me measure this angle so see See 56.01. So this angle is 56.01, and this angle, anyways, is uh, uh, beta, and this is alpha. So alpha plus beta plus gamma comes out to be 180 degrees. I hope this is understood. So this is alpha here. Let me um, name it. Let me show the name. So what I'm saying is show the label. So gamma is same as alpha, my dear friends. Right, 53.97 c this is gamma and this angle is beta 70.02 so if you add all of them alpha plus beta plus gamma is 180 degrees right so this is remote angle beta this is alpha which is 53.97 and this one is my delta which is equal to your eta right 56.01 so i hope you understood that we did construct this part where 
the remote angle sum is 180 degrees yep so these are the three triangles now i need don't need these lines so let me just hide them so hide it i also don't need this so hide it as well hide hide it and i don't need these all either so let me just hide all of them i don't need this i don't need this part as well and this part as well right so let me just a minute this is yeah so e dash is also not needed so let me hide it okay so this is the thing and uh, if i just um, do what i i know the point f so basically i need to draw this bf and fc okay and uh, i just need to uh, or rather what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw the polygon okay so polygon is um, b f c right and let me change the color of this as well so color okay so i'll check yeah let it be this color this color also has needs to be changed so let me change this to something like that oh sorry i have to change this one now sorry for the bad choice of colors if you call you look if you think like that uh we need to differentiate so hence i'm doing that okay yeah that will be too feeble so let this be this and now um oh wait so settings once again hmm. done and this one done yeah looks good and this is let me just take this away and i don't need these either so let me so that my diagram is now neat and clean hmm. okay so i constructed something which is now um according to whatever you wanted right so this is but this looks like it is a straight line but it will be a straight line yes it will be a straight line anyways so can i randomize it more how do i how do i randomize it more so let me say so this looks like ecf looks like a straight line no? so maybe it is appearing to be a special case so see i'm going to do this i'm going to draw a circle b passing through bf c okay and then um yeah so i am now going to take any point here on this point let's say and call this as f okay so the angle will remain the same so i am utilizing the concept that angle in the same segment will be same okay so now I, now let me draw a polygon from here b f c now it looks perfect perfect right and now i am going to yeah so this is the required third correct perfect and then i don't need this circle either so let me just yep and let me switch it off as well okay so this is the construction guys so after all of this hmm lot of work and we got what happens if i see if i change it so it doesn't matter see the angle is going to be the same yeah this is all together will give will be same it won't change it so i can yeah this is the thing now let me see whether whatever is being said here then the circumcircles of the three triangles meet at the point let me do and try that so let me draw the circumcircles of the three so let's uh, first one is um this one okay this is the first same uh, circumcircle second one is this this and this and the third one is this this and hey indeed it is meeting yes see this is the point of intersection where all the three are meeting so you can see that g right so the three circles semicircles are indeed meeting at a point and uh, does it impact uh, or is the position of the e point e guiding this no see anywhere you take g point is going to be the point g here right see it's there always the three semicircles are oh sorry circumcircles are intersecting that's really cool that's good yep so wherever you take these points irrespective of that yeah this is a, this is beautiful so yes correct very good now how do we prove it 
how do we prove it so prove is not that uh, tough so uh, you can see let me prove it so how do i prove it so i am saying um uh, see out of the three uh, out of the three circum circles two will definitely intersect so let's say a e n c so this is the circle this one a a e c this circle this this is this is circle number 1 so let me write that as circle number 1 this is circle number 1 right this is circle number 1 this is circle number 2 let's say circle number 2 now definitely the two circles are going to meet at point c one point is common point c and another point is let's say g okay so uh, let us join few lines over here what all lines so let me join which one so let me make some cyclic quadrangles so a g and c right this one and this one this one yeah this is good enough now look carefully what i'm saying i'm saying is angle um so the two circle number one and two will definitely pass through c there is absolutely no uh, issues in that why because c uh, happens to be one of the vertices of the triangle of which the circum circles are drawn. So C will be the first common point and let's say they intersect at point G and I'm at this point I'm not claiming that the third, third circum circle is also passing through G. So hence what I'm doing is let me uh, do one thing here which I can definitely do and let's switch it off so that it doesn't create confusion. So I'm saying these two semicircles or uh, circum circles are meeting at point G. Okay so what what do I now know? I know that uh, angle c g b c rather let me yeah c g b angle c g b c g b this one is equal to 180 degrees minus f no problems in that right 180 degrees minus f why cyclic quadrangle are opposite opposite angles are opposite angles of cyclic quadrangle quadrangle are supplementary supplementary is it okay fair enough also angle a g c a g c where is that angle this one is also equal to 180 degrees minus angle e without doubt same reason now let us try to find out angle a g b don't you think angle AGB, where is that angle? Here, this one, AGB is equal to 360 degrees minus angle CGB minus angle AGC, right? Point, angle at a point is 360 degrees, so hence this is 360 degrees minus angle CGB. If you take CGB, which will be nothing but 180 degrees and plus angle F, and then this one will be 180 degrees plus angle E from these two. Okay, so 180 degrees, 360, 360 goes. So this is all cancelled. So this is basically angle F plus angle E. Angle F plus angle E. But there is an important information given in this question. And that is angle F plus angle E plus angle D, remote angles all put together is 180 degrees c it is given here that means angle f plus angle e is 180 degrees minus angle d so from these two relations this is 1 and this is 2 you can very easily say angle agb agb is equal to 180 degrees minus angle d that means it is showing that agb this point g and d are uh, you know angle a g b is 180 minus d that means you can write a g b plus angle d is 180 degrees what does it indicate it indicates that the opposite angle of a quadrangle opposite these are opposite angles of two uh, quadrangle right so d and this angle g is opposite angle of a quadrangle and the sum is 180 degrees therefore we can say that a d b g is a cyclic quadrangle and that's proves the theorem why 
the moment is a cyclic quadrangle that means the circum circle of adg or adb a d b will pass through g isn't it that's what you know because adbg lies on a circle so hence there is there can be only one circle passing through any three points so hence one circle which is passing through adb will be the circum circle of adb only there cannot be two circum circles so circum circle of adb also passes through g that is what we needed to achieve and prove and hence we can show this part this circle activated see indeed this circle is the circum circle of adb and hence it passes through g as well so hence we could prove this theorem which says that if there are three triangles made arbitrarily on a on the sides externally on the ext uh, or uh, constructed externally on the sides of an arbitrary triangle such that the sum of the remote angles again what was the meaning of remote angle e d and f is 180 degrees then the circum circle of the three triangles meet at a point and that is this point g here right so first we constructed this and then we proved this in the same session right I hope you understood this. Uh, so, if you did not understand, I would request go back to the video once again and watch it once more. And I am very sure in the second round, you will be able to understand the entire theorem fully. Thanks for your patience for this long session. And we will meet with another theorem in the next session. Thanks a lot. See you.